Alright, hey guys, Riff Bunch Leaves today, everyone. We're back with Toilet Ban Hanako no Kun. Um, episode 2. If you didn't watch my episode 1 reaction, I was blown away by the episode. I think um, it was definitely a lot of way better than I thought it was going to be. I think this is where I would go. This is one that had an excellent first episode. Like, it was absolutely fantastic. Comedy was on point. I like the story we went with. Uh, I like the two main characters already. <laughs> I'm loving the art style. It looks amazing. It sort of gives me a lovely store slash mob psycho feel to it. I am looking forward to see what they're going to definitely do with this story. Um, as you can definitely do... They could definitely do some interesting things. Things I'm definitely going to be looking forward to as the show goes on to see what sort of story we're going to go dive into, especially with all the other spirits and see if it goes sort of... It's going to be one of those, but it's going to be like a sort of... Because it didn't feel skip-based in the first episode. It feels like it was like a, going to be like a continuous story. Um, and if the comedy can hold up, and also let's see how the ships are going to progress as the series goes on. Definitely a fantastic fantastic first episode into an anime maybe more and more people give it a shot as it goes on as even i was a bit i was a bit skeptical when i went in but then when i have to watch the first episode all of that's gone and i'm really excited to see what i'm going to do with this story like they can go a lot of ways with it, it can end up being a really fantastic journey and judging by you might guys who've read the manga you all have a deep passion for it uh, a bit similar to how people love beast stars so i am excited to see if the, how the anime is going to progress and yeah hopefully it's always good to hear that the manga is amazing there's nothing better than when you're watching an anime and people go the manga is amazing too so you, you know you've got some good stuff to look forward to but guys as usual if you enjoyed the reaction leave a like subscribe and other than that let's jump straight into this <laughs> when he turned into sushi <laughs> uh, right oh, that's right I love how much energy she's got, I've got to be honest. Hey, people making the plays. <laughs> yeah, that's not a date. <laughs> He's going to leave right away. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the best kind of day. I'm a further paper. Oof! Mate! The low blows! She'd be a savage if I even realise him. Let's go by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was brutal though. Fucking hell. Don't go out shot down. <laughs> uh. Yes. Story time. All the time, I can relate. Yes, I can relate. Oh my god, can you get out of my life then? Because I fucking lose things all the time. <laughs> That's a scary story. You can't say such a horrible story and be I told adorable about it. I love, the, I love the character designs. Is anyone else a sucker for him? <laughs> the plot thickens. This feels like it should be off Berserk, not the time. <laughs> It's a trap! Uh, dots for eyes are the best things in the world. Hello there. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> no, not the big legs. I've watched too many Sonic animators, so there's no way this is going. Please save it. <laughs> Oh. 
Yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. He ruined him. Mate, one shot. Fucking hell. That was easy. Made quick work of that demon. One way to put it. <laughs> yeah, we do, sadly. <laughs> they look like they think of fucking Princess Marinette, okay? <laughs> uh... <laughs> 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 How can you not help him out? <laughs> I'm a heartless bastard, even though I would have to help him out. <laughs> they nailed the adorable art style. I wonder why it's like for him to like, actually fully talk. How long has he not talked to someone for? I'm quite curious. No, <laughs> not a chance for that. <laughs> no one's crazy about cleaning bathrooms. No, oh. I don't know. Nostalgic. Ooh, did this happened once before then. Yes, upgrade in friendship. <laughs> hey, you're already a strong half of the episode, we're not even finished yet. <laughs> They're going to be really fat at the end of this. Ooh. Mr. Keo from Fruit Baskets has ability. Dude, mate, the soundtrack, I like it. <laughs> I love the I love, I love stress like these. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, too dreamy. He's killed for just spells evil spirits. Sav She's such a savage. <laughs> That's the first episode she was. This episode she is as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's gonna fuck in the sky! <laughs> uh. We found them quick! <laughs> oh, instantly destroyed the dream! <laughs> oh, my lord! The fucking legs get me every time. <laughs> Did you? Ooh, we actually got a winning blow. I feel like the girl's just gonna kick the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Don't mess with her, mate. I won't mess with that. I'll just leave, mate. Just leave. She's too dangerous. I'm going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> curious to uh, see if he, if he actually has quite a dark past, that'd be interesting. I, I love this to show dark damage that. Oh, that was dramatic and awesome. That knife looks very dangerous right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's not doing shit this time. Man's got 400% on you. 
<laughs> yeah, get away from the crazy lab of a knife. Fuck <laughs> yeah. There we go. I think he got the stuff anyway. <laughs> Okay, damaging himself then. Oh, Kyo died. Oh. 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 But that's what this show is going to help us do. We're going to learn more about him as it goes on. Mate, you started all of us. Mm -hmm. Interesting episode. Looks like they actually added a bit more plot like that's what i wanted that episode to be fair yeah as i said i, wa I wanted that this year uh, in this episode they added a bit more to the actual plot um so yes we don't actually know that much about so it's going to be interesting to learn more about him what sort of definitely learn a bit more about wonders uh the fact that him we learned quite a lot about how rumors work so rumors change like chinese whispers the change of rumor and the creature's color adapts to the U rumor to survive was it um so that was cool, and then we learned there's an exorcist cult out there, uh, and demons used to be stronger at some point, demons or ghosts or whatever the, the names are. Um, but no, I really enjoyed that they actually had a bit more story, gave a bit more depth to the main guy, um, so it made me really curious to learn a bit more about him, um, especially with this murder incident, um, and there's probably a lot more to it than that. Um, if, <clears throat> judging by like how long he's probably probably been around for a while like again i enjoyed the comedy again in this episode it was funny i love the art style just the extra effort it goes through and it's just such an adorable art style like you can't help but smile when you look at it but it then has this like looks really good when it wants to like i say i think overall yeah i don't really have a thought with that episode uh yeah it was well paced i like the i like the first half and then it led into a nice second half We've also given us a few more questions about uh, Hinato Kun's past, and hopefully just keep keep learning if stuff as stuff goes on. Um, I do ship the two maidens already; they're adorable. I don't know how that's going to work though, because he's a ghost and she's a human. But hey, <laughs> never know. And I'm looking forward to meeting some more of the side characters as the show progresses as well. But well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and hope to see you next week. Peace. Thank you for watching the video guys, as always, I'm much appreciated. Feel free to check out Patreon if you want early access and uncuts. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this content. Along with, I've got a playlist and best match for you. Hopefully you enjoy the content, continue enjoying the content guys. And yeah, hope to see you in the next one.